So, who broke it? I'm not mad. I just want to know. I did. I broke no, it. No, no, you didn't. Tom? Don't look at me. Look at Ben. What? I didn't break it. Huh, that's weird. How'd you even know it was broken? Because it's sitting right in front of us and it's broken. Suspicious. No, it's not. If, if it matters, probably not, but April was the last one to use. Liar, it. I don't even drink that crap. Oh, really? Then what were you doing by the coffee cart earlier? I used the wooden stars to push back my cuticles. Everyone knows that. Okay, Jerry. Okay, let's not fight. I broke it. Let me pay for it, Ron. No. Who broke it? Ron. Don has been awfully quiet. Really? Oh, yeah, really. Oh, now, my God. Gonna say Don, I, I, I broke it. It burned my hand, so I punched it. I predict 10 minutes from now, they'll be at each other's throats with war paint on their faces and a pig head on a stick. Good. It was getting a little chummy around here. The boys in blue. <laughs> ah, what can I do for you? For we got a tip about some food entering the country illegally. No, 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 no. It's just cheese, guys. Uh, I got it in France. Okay. Did you declare it on your customs form when you re-entered the country? We're going to need you to come down to the station. I'm sure that's not necessary. Let's just. This is really good cheese. You should try uh, some. Are you trying to bribe us? No. Oh God. I surrender. Step forward. Okay. Thank you. Okay. There you go. We've got a couple of customs agents coming down from the border, and they are not happy. I can't believe this. I never break the law. I've never even jaywalked. Never. I mean, I, I, I everyone does it sometimes. Just add that to the charges. Well, well, well. We got a hit on your prints. Seems as you're wanted for tax fraud in Colorado. What? I've never even been to Colorado. I mean, I had a layover in Denver once. Man, you can't keep your story straight, can you? Come on. Oh, come the customs guys now. Fellas, he's all yours. Come on! Oh, oh, you oh, you gotta see the stupid look on your face. Check this out, I take a picture. Classic! You seemed a little uptight. Thought we'd have some fun with our new boss. Wow, this, you got me. Good one. Making me think I was gonna like die in federal prison. And, ah, that's super funny. You scamps. <laughs> so while they repaint the lines in the parking lot, we're asking everyone to do street parking. I'm not street parking my Mercedes. Well, everyone is, I'm doing it. Cause nobody wants to steal a Saturn. All right, uh, moving on to recycling. Uh, you okay, Ron? Just a little tooth pain. I'm fine. Continue. Okay, each department will be getting blue bins. Uh, Do you need to go to the dentist, Ron? I don't like dentists. Just a second. Hey! No, no. No, 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 Oh, God. I'm sorry, everybody. What were we talking about? Recycling? Dentist pulled the tooth out yesterday. But it's always a good idea to demonstrate to your coworkers that you are capable of withstanding a tremendous amount of pain. Plus, it's always fun to see Tom faint. <laughs> Can I just say something? I'm having so much fun right now. Oh my God, me too, like so much fun. Can I just say something, though? Yeah. OK, you don't want this job. Seriously, this place is the pits. It's like if you worked here, you'd be like, ugh, and Leslie would be like, blah, 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 and he'd be like, uh. OK, can I say something right now? I totally think that you're right, and I had been thinking about going someplace warm while my husband is in jail. Oh my god, can I just say something? Yes. OK, you should totally stay in my house in Miami. What? I'm serious. Come by any time. Just let yourself in. The gate kind of jams sometimes, but you can just jump it. You are so amazing right now. You're like skinny mother Teresa. It's Dwayne Wade's house. I got his address off the internet. I really hope he's there when she walks in and he throws a basketball at her head. You guys, you guys, be cool. What's going on? I kind of convinced Ben to prank you guys and it got a little out of hand. I probably should have said no to some of his ideas, but he's on his way here right now. Here he is, just be cool. Hey guys, what's up? Um, oh, I just remembered. Can I show you something out to the front area? And leave your cell phones, uh, because of no reason. Just leave anything that can't get wet, actually, like you would normally. Okay, here we go to the parking lot now. Wow, this is really sad. Yep, follow to me, guys. Just 
go into the parking lot for normal government reasons. Sorry, I can't go through with this. I was gonna pull a prank. <gasps> no. Yeah, I hired these guys in ski masks to kidnap us and I was gonna pretend to be a hero. They were gonna shoot me and drive the van into the river and that's when the divers would go in, pull you guys out of the water and I would be standing on the shore like, hey, you get pranked much? What the f I even got these squibs from a special effects guy and I was gonna say this code word. And that's when I would push this button. No, 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 no! no! God, you got blood all over me. Thank you. I mean it. Ben, that was amazing. Really? Best prank ever. Yes, hi. I have a question about your inflatable saxophones. Do those come in different sizes? I'm gonna need about 40 dozen of those. Also, what about your neon gangster fedora hats? Um, that was rude. Whatever's going on here, stop it immediately. I was just talking on the phone. To whom? It was personal. I would never make a work-related call, you know that. Hey, Ron, how's the street parking at your house? What? Can you handle, like, 20 cars or a double-decker party bus? There is no street parking at my house. My house is not even on a street. Do you have space for, like, a huge circus tent? Hey, Ron, have you seen the... What the hell? No! Oh! Well, looks like there won't be any balloons for the birthday boy. These were for a sick child at the hospital. Ah, uh, my office now. I don't work for you. Don't care. I'm only gonna ask you this once. What is going on with my birthday? Oh my God, Ron, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Shut your damn mouth. It's a fun conversation. Just tell me what Leslie is planning. Honestly, I, I, I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Why don't you tell me what she did for your last birthday? Oh, well, that was intense. She totally surprised me. She kidnapped me from work, and then she took me to that place, Senor Vegas, you know, where the mariachi band comes out, they put a big sombrero on you, and then everybody sings happy birthday. Damn it. And then we went back to my house, and she invited basically everyone I knew, and she had this great guy doing face painting, and I had my face painted like a fairy tiger. Ugh. Also, she did it like a week before my birthday, which is genius, because I had no idea it was coming. And then there was a bouncy castle. Did you know they made those for adults? Mm -hmm. Morning, Ron. Ooh, dude, you forgot to put a shirt on. I do it all the time, it's fine. I slept here. Sweet. So, a uh, little birdie told me it's your birthday coming up. How about a free birthday shoe shine? What did this little birdie tell you is going to happen for my birthday? Oh, nice try, Ron. You're not getting anything out of me. Andrew, please. Ron, look, I love you like a father who's not that much older than me, like a young uncle. Or like, uh, you're my camp counselor. But we're adults, so we hang out and it's not weird. you know. Or actually, here's what it is. You're my lacrosse coach. I get it, I get it. What's the point? Well, coach, Leslie swore me to secrecy, so I can't say anything. I owe her so much, I can't ruin it for her. Well, I respect that. Mm -hmm. See you later. Okay, not if I see you first, Uncle Ron. <laughs> and I probably will. Because Leslie assigned me to the kidnap squad. Hey, did you hear the news? Ben and Chris want us to go in a conference room seat for a meeting. Let's get this over with. Happy birthday, Ron. Ann said you had a big party. Sombreros, karaoke. Yeah, I did that for Ann. Why would I throw Ron Swanson and Ann Perkins' party? What about the giant list of things April was doing? That was just a list of ways to mess with you. She do them all? She did indeed. So, I have rented Bridge on the River Kwai and the Dirty Dozen. Artie from security is outside the door, so no one will bother you. And a cab will be here whenever you're ready to take you home. Thank you. Andy, it's Leslie. Hello? Hello, Andy, it's Leslie. Psych! Leave a message after the beep. Andy, it's Leslie. Look, what did you mean when you said it's your only option? I think we should talk without lawyers present. If you want to meet, just put a white chalk X on the mailbox across the street from City Hall. Or call me back. Just call me back. Andy, why aren't you returning my calls? 
Is it because of your lawyer? It's because of your lawyer. Hey, Andy, it's your aunt, your mom or dad's sister. I don't know how to tell you this, but your uncle has passed. He's with Jesus now. So we're having a memorial in 30 minutes at City Hall. Hey, free guitars at City Hall, everybody run! Because of a local disaster, you, Andy Dwyer, must go to the evacuation center at Pawnee City Hall. <sighs> hmm. That was weird. How long have you been there? Hey, I know it would cheer you up. Let's go wait outside the bathroom for Tom and scare him. That would cheer me up. Okay. Ready and... No! <laughs> Jerry! God, gross! Oh. Jerry! Guys, I... Oh, God. Oh, I think he might be having a heart attack. What? Are you serious? Oh, so much stuff is happening right now. Call 911. Okay. You just breathe, okay? You're gonna be fine. Oh, jeez, did a dinosaur just fart? Jerry, get a grip. Uh, sorry, guys. Oh, apology not accepted. Stop talking, moron. I wish I could stop smelling. Dude. Seriously, Jerry, did you eat farts for lunch? Tom! Jerry's having a heart attack! Oh, no, I didn't know that. Jerry, you okay? Where are my keys? Looks like it's open. Really? Yeah. <gasps> Pachitis! I didn't do this, man. I promise. Now, son, I'm a police officer. OK, you shouldn't lie to me. I'm not. I've never been here before. And why would I do this? Because you've had run-ins with Miss Nope in the past. Just a second. Yeah. Ask him about the peach pit. <laughs> this isn't one-way glass, you know. I can see you. <laughs> you know, I like Nope. I screw with her because she gets all riled up and her face gets all scrunched up like this. But I like her. She's all right. <laughs> you see? What? I'm calling your shift commander. Monday morning, I am calling your boss. I don't know who to call about you. The President of the United States of America. Fine. And if any of you ever come near my son again, I swear to God, I will sue you and everyone in this building. Come on, honey. On the other hand, Greg Bakaitis is a little punk. And I kind of want to TP his house. Let's do it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is fun. This is fun. What do I do? You just grab the toilet paper. Unroll it a little bit like this, throw it on the tree. This is for Mayor Percy, this is for the Parks Department office, this is for pooping on the handball courts. <laughs> yeah, this is really fun, but I don't condone it. <laughs> I see you in there, Andy. Leslie, what are you doing? Oh boy. That's them, officer, right there. Oh my god. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I think we have the wrong house. Why are you doing this? It's really hard to explain, but we were trying to get revenge on this kid, Greg Pachitis, and we thought this was his house, but I guess we got the address wrong. I'm Greg's mom. You are? Yes. Oh. Did he hire a fake mom again to get him out of trouble? What? Whenever he gets in trouble, he goes on Craigslist and hires a woman to play his mother and bail him out. Oh. That little SOB, Greg Gregory! I knew it! Oh my god. Dude, that kid is amazing. Attention, please. Well, the votes are in. And your Pawnee High prom king and queen are Lucy Taylor and Andy Dwyer. What? I broke the box and I threw away all the votes and I voted for you a thousand times. You should get on up there, King Dwyer. Not without my queen. Hi, Pawnee High. As your prom king, I am your ruler. <laughs> Silence! My first decree of power is to declare that the prom queen shall be my wife, April Ludgate, who is the best thing that's ever happened to me, who came to prom, even though she hates it, 
Give me this. You always next year. No, there isn't. I'm a senior. This is your wife? How old are you? He's 33 and I'm 47 slash immortal. Get out. High school forever! Yeah, you're having fun now. I rigged an election and got kicked out of prom. I can get on board with that.